repressive policies of Lord Lytton. Lord Lytton's discriminatory policies caused great resentment among the educated Indians. So whatever the uh, Viceroy during that time was Lord Lytton and he is discriminatory. That means discrimination policies cause a great anger and a great uh, depressed by among the educated Indians. They got to know what they were doing and how they are discriminating us. They were not giving uh, our rights in any field. The first is the Vernacular Press Act. This act curbed the liberty of the Indian press. So, according to this act, the Indians were not allowed to press anything and if they want to press anything, they have to take permission from the British government. And if the British government will approve, then only they can publish it. It deprived the people of their basic rights to freedom of speech and expression. So their, so their basic rights, that means the freedom of speech and expression was violated with the Vernacular Press Act. Next, the Arms Act. Under this act, Indians could not own and carry weapons without a license from the government. This act did not apply to European Europeans. So, according to Arm, uh, Arms Act, Indians were not allowed to carry their own weapon without a license from the government. That means, if they want to take a, or if they want to carry a weapon, they have to take a license from the government. And and without license, they were not allowed to carry a weapon. And this act was not applied to the Europeans. That means the Europeans, the Britishers, they can use weapon freely. They did not require any license. But these licenses were only applied to the Indians. A reduction in ages of ICS examination. The age limit of uh, for candidates appearing for the Imperial Civil Services examination was reduced from 21 years to 19 years. So even the limits of the candidates age was reduced of the Imperial Civil Services examination which was organized by the British rule from 21 years to 19 years. That means they have by 19 years they have to appear the exam but if they are Above nine, uh, 19, that means 2021, 20, they were not allowed to enter the examination. The chances of Indian candidates joining the civil service were greatly reduced with this law. So why this age reduction was done? So that the, the Indian candidates cannot participate in the imperial civil services. Next is the Albert Bill controversy. Lord Ripon, who succeeded Lord Lytton, wanted to change some of the discriminatory policies of the government. So, earlier there was Lord Lytton and, uh, and Lord Lytton was replaced by Lord Ripon and he wanted to change some of the discriminatory policies of the government which was made by Lord Lytton. He approved of the Albert Bill which allowed Indian judges to try Europeans, that means whites, accused of crime so according to this bill that means the Ilbert, uh, Ilbert bill it means that the Indian judges uh, in which the Indian judges were allowed to try uh, any European or the white or the Britishers who are accused of the crown who have committed a crime that means the Indian judges have given the authority to uh, uh, you can say judge and give a result or a decision if a white or a European had committed any crimes. The violent reaction known as the white mutiny of the Europeans and Anglo-Indians to this proposal shocked the Indian nationalists. The bill had to be amended. So when the Albert bill was introduced, the white people, they revolted against the Lord Ripon and even the Anglo-Indians, they also revolted against the Lord Ripon. So finally, uh, in order to control the situation, the bill was amended. That means again it was changed. This incident blew the lead off of the racial arrogance of the Europeans. So, because of this incident, the, the, there was a conflict among uh, among the Europeans themselves. It served as an eye opener and drove uh, home the urgent need to form an organized organized national body to protect the interests and dignity of the Indian. So, with the help of these. Uh, bill it uh, it help or you can say it open the eye of the people and it help uh, and it uh, 
required the urgent need to form a organized national body who will protect the interests dignity self respect of the indians in 1883 surendranath banerjee or banerjee held the indian national conference and within 2 years the indian national congress was born so finally in the 1883 surendranath banerjee he held the indian national conference and and within 2 years he had formed the indian national congress so who is the founder of the indian national congress it will be surendranath banerjee or banerjee and here is a postage stamp showing surendranath banerjee or banerjee an early nationalist reformer